Welcome to Film My Run, I'm Stephen. Here we are again in Eastbourne for another session on the monstrous Woodway treadmill at the Welkin Sports and Exercise Physiology Labs at Brighton University. We're gonna do a second round of testing, so let's get in there and uh, see how we get on. So, right, what we've got to do first is take a load of testing at rest. So, um, blood glucose, so I'm going to get my blood taken in a second. Lactate, and then I'm going to breathe into a gas chamber, and that will measure my, um, my oxygen and my carbon dioxide levels at rest. And then I'm going to run on the treadmill, and every 15 minutes I'm going to have to drink a fluid, uh, I'm not allowed to know whether it's placebo or whether it's real carbohydrate solution. And then more gases taken and more bloods taken every 15 minutes. Hallam, what's the difference between what's the difference between the testing we did the other day and today's testing? Absolutely nothing. So what's the reason for doing two lots of testing? Um, to see the difference between a glucose and fructose mixture on endurance trip, on endurance performance uh, between the placebo as well. So no sugar versus sugar. Okay. So basically they're just testing whether on a long distance run, hour and a half's worth of running, whether I am oxidizing fat or, or burning um, carbohydrate. Um, and if it's a placebo, um, how much does my glycogen level drop um, how much fat am I oxidising to fuel my run? Now I've got to drink six of these. Right, they're going to increase the treadmill speed to 11 kilometres per hour. We're at 1% incline. So now we just have to run for 90 minutes. Every 15 minutes we stop. Okay, time for first gases. Having done gases whilst I'm running, I now get bloods taken. And I have to rate myself. Do you know what, I'm gonna to go to 12 already. No GI discomfort at all. So I've got to measure GI discomfort from like up here, like lungs, chest kind of thing, and then down here, stomach, and now second drink. Okay, so we are 28, 29 minutes in. Nearly time for the second lot of gases, bloods, and drink. 11 kilometers an hour still. Heart rate's about 138. Uh, so I'd say RPE's still 12. I'm, I'm kind of settling in now. Zero, zero. So it takes a good couple of minutes to do these little bits of testing. Two and a half minutes in, eight kilometers run, according to the stride foot pod. And we're just coming up to gases, bloods, and drink uh, number three. Right, if you remember from the last testing video just the other day, I noticed that if I change my cadence, on this treadmill, the speed increases according to the stride foot pod. So remember we're on a medical grade, massively expensive woodway treadmill. There's not going to be a lot of belt slippage or slow down on impact of my foot. So currently the woodway treadmill is reading 11 kilometers an hour and has been for the whole time. Stride is currently telling me 10.7 kilometers an hour. 
Now by adjusting my cadence and my stride length, I'm gonna show you on Zwift down here that you can increase the speed of the stride even though the treadmill remains at the same speed. Right, so what's my cadence currently? 170. 170. So I'm gonna increase it to over 200. And let's see what happens to my speed. Would you look at that? 11 kilometers an hour. What's my cadence? Cadence is 208. 208 steps per minute. And we're running at 11 kilometers an hour according to the stride. But there's another thing. I'm gonna slow my cadence right down. I'm gonna lull. Watch what happens now. What's my cadence, Hal? 136. Cadence of 136, and I'm at 11.4 kilometers an hour. And now we'll go back to normal cadence. This is my normal, natural running pace. Cadence, rather. And we drop back down to 10.7. How bizarre is that? Right, 56 minutes in. Uh, distance is 10 and a half kilometers, according to stride. So we're just coming up to, is this third or fourth? Fourth, fourth yeah. drink, fourth gases, fourth bloods. So this is exactly one hour in now, half an hour to go. Drink number four. I've just rated myself at 12 on the RPE scale, which is somewhat hard. I'm sweating a lot, you can see. But we are indoors with no, um, no fan or anything. <laughs> Go for it, whenever you're ready. One hour, 15 minutes in. I've done nearly 14k, which is nine miles, eight, eight and a half. All good, yeah? Yeah. Right, we're just coming to the end. 10 miles completed on the treadmill. Last gases. Right, we're done. All done. Last bloods. So I've basically rated that uh, GI of zero for the whole thing. And um, RPE 13 on the scale, which is somewhat hard. Because I'm absolutely soaking in sweat. Absolutely soaked. Okay, just saved my run on Zwift. Already uploaded to Strava. Looking at the percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air you've just expended. So the air that I've just breathed is in one of those bags. Yeah? Yeah, in this bag here. And then we need to basically record it for a minute because it takes a certain amount of air out. So we need to record it for exactly a minute. So this machine, is analyzing the amount of carbon dioxide versus oxygen in my breath. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And, and basically the result of that will tell you how much, whether I'm burning carbs or whether I'm burning fat as fuel. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so is this the last time you're gonna get me in for testing on this project? On this project it is the last time, but not I get you in for another one. So does this mean that you can tell us like what the results of the two days testing are? Not yet. Not yet, okay. I need to analyse all the data first and then and then I'll be able to. Okay. Right, so all of you who were waiting for results of that, <laughs> you're not gonna get any. Uh, 
So Hallam's got to go away and, and analyze the data uh, and then he'll email me with the results of it at some point. Uh, so, but at least you know what's been happening. Uh, but if you know me, you know I'm, I do ultra marathon distance races, uh, long distance, and you know I, I think that I am more fat adapted. So I am more used to using my fat stores on long runs than I am taking lots of sugary drinks and carbohydrate stuff. Uh, but it'd be interesting to know whether those drinks were carbohydrate or whether just the placebo solution. Um, and, and whether I do indeed burn fat uh, efficiently. Thanks, Hal. Thanks, Sam. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that testing. Uh, hopefully, I'll manage to get some results from that in the next few days. Take care. See you again for another Film My Run. Bye.